So you might be thinking since we got to the third world we might be getting close to the end of this game and yeah that is true but um we're still nowhere close to our goal of getting 20,000 coins and in fact <laughs> we're a little bit over a fourth of the way there. Although that being said, we are going to be making a lot of progression, a lot of progression in the third and final world. So I guess it sort of balances out. But um, I want to try and see. Or I want to try and avoid getting to the final point on the game and then still needing to go back up and get some more coins. Although that being said, there is a good point, or there is a point in this game where we do have to go backtrack for something. or well, a few things, really. So I'm thinking now for this episode we just uh, catch up on the money we need really. And in fact, I'm gonna start off by going on to the bottom of Old World. And maybe even the entrance of um Vectron, as I think I haven't edited the last episode, so I don't know <laughs> if we did do that. If we did collect the gems there. Or not, so you know that's what we're gonna be doing. Um Okay. Also yeah, uh <laughs> I reason I don't like the mid game of this point is um the bottom of old worlds and the mid bit of um Vectron are kind of unfair. Not to mention um if you aren't keeping your wits about you you can easily make it so you can't progress up <laughs> like I had in the end, or in last episode, I'm assuming. I only say that because um I did edit the um bit of um uh, <laughs> I did edit episode five. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and I'm fairly sure that's it for the bottom of the world. Oh no, there's one more. <laughs> and now we have the four Dempters, we don't really have to worry about the fall. Okay, um... Um, again, I'm not sure if I did mention it last recording session, although I think I did recently start it, but I am currently, or I did recently start a new main channel video, although <laughs> I get the feeling it's not going to be out for a long while. And not just because um it's not like the main channel video that's coming like next. It's like a few. I can think after what I have planned. I don't even think it's going to be after that. I think it's going to be even after that, or even longer. Only because um it's going to take a bit to get through. 
And I'm not entirely sure if I want to be too secretive with what that series or what that is. Maybe. I'm not too sure. But. Uh, I think I won't get into too much, like what exactly it is, but um. Let's just say it is a. Oh, it contains me going through a certain game four different times in four different ways. And, uh. <laughs> The, I guess, run I'm currently recording, or going through, is, um, what I would call the medium difficulty, and, uh... <laughs> oh boy, is it already kicking my ass, even though it is the medium difficulty. Although that's, let's just say that on the var- or the variation I have with this run through isn't, uh... <laughs> the best. Like, I pretty much have, um, by type standings, I have, like, the same Pokemon three times. And, in fact, I even have <laughs> the exact same Pokemon twice, only because, um, the thing, or oh, there's exactly six of the things I'm thinking about, or I'm thinking about getting. But one of them is, oh, two of them are version exclusive, so I'm going in with, like, I have to go in with five no matter what version I have. Or what, no matter what thing I have. Uh, okay. Let's get you done. Could really use some health right about now. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> Last night I had a pretty interesting experience. Um. <laughs> I. So yeah, I'm not gonna mention if it is tied to the main channel video, but uh. Don't be surprised if it is or not. But, um, yeah, uh... I... Soloed... Oh, pretty much soloed... Gary's entire team in... The Sylph Tower. With a... Victory Bell. It's kind of... It, it sounds weird to say that. And Gary did have a Gary had a Charizard, so uh, I was kind of expecting to get floored. Not to mention all my Pokemon all shared the same type, so uh. I was a little bit scared. Maybe. So on that topic, um Holy shit is um Gen 1, I wanna say. It it could be other generations of um Parasect, but um Parasect has actually been pretty good. <laughs> Even though it's not really a grass type, but it's still been pretty good. Um, I think I don't want to go back up. Um, let's see if I can stand this. Okay, thanks for that. I'm not entirely sure if I need it. But I'll take it. Okay, um... I kinda wanna see if I can get at least some light or some health. Okay, thank you. 
use that right now. Um, it's gonna be a little bit interesting getting back up, but I'm thinking I might meet you back up in um, Tumbleton. So I'll see you the, the back up in Tumbleton. Um, yes, let's see how much we have. Okay. We're nearing 8,000. I wonder if I can reach the 9,000 mark. I don't think it is possible in this episode. Um, okay, we can get that. Um, so, aside from the thick armor, we can get the swift pickaxe and almost buy out Biff. Although, until we can get the next tank upgrade, we technically have right out Biff. So, uh... We'll be seeing you. And, I guess... <laughs> not sure if it didn't touch on this last episode, but, um... Here's Dandy! This is a pretty dandy space. And he's dandy in space. <laughs> uh, that show was amazing. Although that being said, um, it's kind of a show that I well, that I can have enough of. <laughs> Although that being said, the music, especially the um outro and opening music. Uh, I would love to get that OST. Like, even the exclamation song is good. Um, and if animation studios weren't so picky when it comes to copyright, I would probably <laughs> start using that song. Oh wow, I missed a whole lot of shit. Around here. In fact, I don't know why you don't get more um, soundtracks to anime or o OSTs from anime because um, there's been some pretty good ones. Like so far, the only ones I've had or downloaded are the Soul Leader ones. Although I think it's only a half of it or whatever. That's another Should I rewatch Soul Eater? <laughs> Maybe I might watch it dubbed. Oh no, subbed, I think. Fairly sure I watched it dubbed. Oh, yeah, dubbed. Although that being said, I do kind of have a bad memory of it, and... <laughs> I can kind of only associate Soul Leader with that memory. For some reason. Like, even though I'm fairly sure I've watched it after that, whenever I think of Soul Leader, I think of that mo moment. Which, uh. I just remember waking up or having. An extremely bad stomach ache at like three in the morning, and uh, because it was so painful, I couldn't get back to sleep. I just thought, uh, I just, let's just put on Soul Leader. And uh, I'm thinking it was like the beginning of the um, Excalibur arc that I was watching. So, uh, yeah, uh, that. With that being said, I've still got, like, a few bad memories that, or, like, a few things that aren't really associated with that thing. But, for some reason, it still is. I still think of that before I, th or when I think of that, like, um, or that topic, like, um, Chugga Conroy's, um, 
Pokemon Crystal and Wind Waker Let's Plays. Um, <laughs> even though I haven't watched them in a long time, and even though that moment happened, or that that memory I associate, associate those with, um, happened a long time ago, like almost a decade ago now. Um, I, I still think of um, me having a cold when watching that. So, uh, kind of weird. Um, I think we might be jumped out at this point. So, we may as well tackle the next cavern. Hmm. Also, does Dandy mean anything? Apart from a name? Because the line Space Dandy is a dandy in space might make more sense if I knew if Dandy meant something. Although I, I, I think it might, maybe. I have a gut feeling it means something. Really use some more light. Yeah, that. I know I've kind of been mentioning it like every recording session now, but um. The, I guess, rate of, um, how quickly the darkness seeps in doesn't change. It's like two bars when we have a maximum of, um, five is still nowhere near the same of two bars when the maximum was only two bars, so it kind of feels like We're not really getting a lot. I can't wait until we get a sudden upgrade. Because then... <laughs> we can deal with those laser guys a whole lot more effectively. A whole lot more effectively. Uh, screw the upgrade, we want treasure. Why don't I just call it treasure? From now on. Because that kinda incorporates the orbs as well, so uh... <laughs> why haven't I been doing that? I don't know. Um... Hmm. Wait. I smell secrets. East. That's another thing too. Secrets are really arbitrary. In effect, you can't really figure out where they are unless you have, like, for the most part, unless you have this upgrade. And in fact, I think... I don't know, it's up here somewhere. Hello Creepers, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, for sure means it's like up there. So, um... The caves in Vectron have a little bit of a gimmick where, um, before we can progress, we have to. Yeah, it's up there. We have to disable a laser gate before we can move on. Uh. uh... 
I feel like it would have been better if you could progress without disabling them. But then again, at the same time, you kind of need to, so... Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, we missed a whole lot of shit. <laughs> Probably have enough. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Let's go up there. Um. So, I guess the only difference between this type of playthrough and a 100% playthrough is um the amount of treasure you collect where um i'm only collecting the amount of what i need to get all the upgrades uh you would pretty much be getting every single thing and going to every single cave and uh The game doesn't make it so easy on you, on the cave side thing, since, um, in Steam Old Dig 2, if you've collected all the treasure and discovered all these secrets in a certain cave, it would mark it off on the map for you, but, uh, doesn't really do that for you. For you. Buddy? What are you doing? Is that a... rare? Huh. <laughs> I guess we'll collect that in the next episode. Don't know how I didn't find that. Hmm. I feel like we're speaking we're talking about something. Hey, we got the next tank upgrade. Mm. Wait, how much is it? Since I'm fairly sure there's not many left. Yeah, we need all the water we collect. Well, at sure there's at least one more after this, I think. Maybe. <laughs> because so far, they've each had at least three of each upgrade in it. Can we buy? Forty-nine coins, and we've brought out Biff. You fat fuck. Thank <laughs> you.